Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are getting into one of the most important decisions when renovating, the kitchen cabinets. They are not just storage solutions, they are a big part of the style and feel of your kitchen. And with so many choices out there, it can get pretty overwhelming. When people start thinking about renovating, they almost always go straight for the kitchen. Why is that? Because these spaces not only make the biggest impact on daily living, but they also add serious value to your home. A fresh kitchen or bath update can make your home a lot more appealing to buyers too. There is a massive market for kitchen and bath upgrades. Kitchen in particular tend to be the most expensive part of your home renovation, but they are totally worth it. Not only you get a beautiful functional space to enjoy every day, but you also see a solid return on investment if you ever decide to sell. So we are bringing you a 5 episode series all about cabinets. In episode 1, we will cover the history of cabinets and the materials used today, with the pros and cons of each. Episode 2 will focus on different types of cabinets. Episode 3 on popular countertop materials. Episode 4 on cabinet styles and episode 5 on unique cabinet ideas for your home. Let's kick things off in the first episode with a bit of history and a look at the main materials for making cabinets. The history of cabinets. Believe it or not, cabinets go way back, even to ancient times. Over 300,000 years ago, early humans without tools or hardware created basic tools for hollowed logs or wooden branches. These early cabinets were all about survival and keeping things safe. As the civilization grew, cabinets became more than storage. They showed skill and style. The Renaissance Europe, a master craftsman made cabinets into work of art with carvings and precious materials. Then came the Industrial Revolution, changing cabinet making forever. New tools like the circular saw made cabinets easier to produce, putting them within reach of more people. In the 1950s, the DIY cabinet trend began, uh, with people creating unique pieces that reflected their personal styles. Today, cabinets have come a long way with tons of options for materials. Now, let's explore the most popular ones and what they offer. Popular cabinet materials. Number one, hardwood. Hardwood is classic, beautiful, and durable, which can even boost your home's value. Picture those stunning kitchens with oak or maple cabinets. Hardwood looks great and ages well, but it's pricey and can work in humid conditions. Also, if you're set on bright white cabinets, hardwood might not be the best option since it's usually stained not painted. Number two, MDF. Uh, it's a medium density fiber board. If you want a smooth painted look, MDF could be perfect. Made from compressed wood fibers, it's stable and paintable. Unlike hardwood, it doesn't work much uh, with humidity, but it's sensitive to water and can release chemicals when cut. It's a popular, uh, more affordable choice for many. Number three, laminate. Laminate is tough and body-friendly. It resists scratches, stains, heat, and moisture. Plus, uh, it comes in tons of colors and finishes. However, if laminate gets damaged, it's hard to repair. You may need to replace the whole thing. Number four, plywood, known as the workhorse of cabinet construction. Plywood is strong, lightweight, and resists moisture. It's made by gluing thin wood layers together, making it stable and easy to install. While cheaper than hardwood, it's more costly than some alternatives and is often used for cabinet box uh, with doors in different materials. Number five, melanin. Melanin is like an improved particle board, body friendly, scratch resistant, and available in many colors. It's durable, but heavy and can be tricky to install. Its core is vulnerable to water, so avoid uh, high moisture spots if using melanin. In the end, there's no perfect material. It's all about what fits your style, needs, and budget. Some people use MDF for doors and plywood for cabinet boxes. There are also hybrids, like MDF with wood frames or laminated plywood. When it comes to choosing cabinet materials, understanding each option gives you the power to pick what's right for your kitchen. We hope this deep dive helps you make a confident choice. A well thought out decision can turn your kitchen into space you will love for years. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.